Kevin Nisbet has finally completed a move out of Hibs and I think it's a sad day for Hibs fans and a sad day for the Scottish Premiership as a whole because we've lost a decent player here. The quality of the league has sky skyrocketed downwards. Not really that much, but I feel like, yeah, Hibs have got their money here. I believe Nisbet only had a year left on his deal, which for his point of view, to make two million, it's probably, uh, it's, it's a good deal. From a house perspective, to get two million, it was two and a half million in January. And to be honest, the half a million did did Nisbet fire them to fifth place? He helped. He helped. He definitely did. And they've made two million on a guy, but I think there was potential to make more. I mean, of course, wasn't how, how many summers ago was it? Was it two summers ago? I might not have been two. I think that's when he might have joined, but it might have been last summer. I mean, they did reject that big off off of Birmingham City about five million. It was. Here they are only getting two, but I say only getting two, he only had a year left on his deal. So personally, I think it's a decent enough deal from um, Hibbs' perspective. So yeah, let's dive into it. Millwall have secured a £2 million deal for Hibbs striker Kevin Niz, but the Scotland ace is set to be on field at the New Den after agreeing a three-year contract with Alliance, which is a further one-year option. This was completed his medical in London and Record Sport has learned he will soon be confirmed as championship club list. He has been confirmed, guys, come on. He's agreed that the 26-year-old pulled out of a deal during Millwall in January after transfer fee had been agreed between the two clubs. Nesbitt didn't feel this time was right to leave Easter Road, but Lions at Gaffer, Gary Rout, continued to pursue the striker who scored 12 goals for Lee Johnston's side this season. And he's finally getting... He's, fi he's finally got his man when Nisbet signed for an initial two million with future add-ons, so they could potentially make more than the two million has been offered here. So the former Dunfermline hitman was entering the final year of his contract in Leaf, and Lee Johnson previously admitted it was likely he'd be moving on this summer rather than going in for free in a year's time. Don't really know how close Millwall were to the playoffs of the shot or the um did Millwall make the play I think they might have made the playoffs actually. Or, or did they get knocked out of a playoff spot in the last day? I believe it was one of the two. I don't think they were actually in the playoffs, were they? Um, but regardless, Nisbet, you know, he's a quality striker. He gets the goals. And I feel like he will be crucial to Millwall next season. Hibs have earned a bit of money. Could potentially rise more than £2 million, But we knew this deal was in the pipeline for a while. I'm surprised it actually took this long to be confirmed. But... You know, we've seen Ross McCrory go recently to the Championship for £3 million. Now we've seen Nisbet leaving. Who are Hibs and Aberdeen going to be able to bring in, guys, to uh, improve their squad? They've got a bit of Mueller. I mean, in Aberdeen's perspective, they've made money off McCrory and they've got the big money of the Europa Conference League coming. So I'm expecting big things for Aberdeen. Not them bragging about spending £1.5 after, like, you know, raking in the player, uh, the player sales of uh, Ferguson, Calvin Ramsey, etc, etc, McKenna. They need to be doing more. You know, see, I, I mean, I feel like the league as a whole, we need the big, the, the, other, the teams outside the old firm to actually start producing now. I mean, I thought Hearts, after getting group stage last year, clearly being the third best team, and they, and they dropped the ball. They sacked Robbie Nielsen, they brought Naismith in, he couldn't get them across the line to finish third. And that's what, if any, if any team... I've said it before, if any team is going to bridge the gap between the old firm and the rest, they need to consistently get that third spot where you're guaranteed the European football and then you're guaranteed a decent bit of money. And then that attracts players and also means you can spend a bit more money. So yeah, that's what you need for the sake of Scottish football. But this whole zigzagging between like every club, I mean, let's be real, I mean, I, I, I think it might work if it's just bef between like Hibs, Aberdeen and Hearts, whoever gets third. But you don't want that. You want other teams to get involved. Um, But... Yeah, guys, anyway, Kevin Nisbet's joined Nisbet. He's joined Nisbet, he's joined fucking Millwall, man. 